I'm gonna be real here. I went to this episode on the assumption that this is going to be a purely fan service episode and for the most part, that is true. Igarashi, the grandpa, realized that his grandson is the real deal. Shiori, actually regretting her words about her grandpa and going on to place ninth on her exams. We got schoolgirl Ine, debatably the best part of the episode. We got butler Shozo and also some natural riz from him to Ine, always appreciate that. And the SS Mino Shota is sailing without issue. We think we're done here. And then, just when we think it's over, this happens. Like, something I like about fantasy elements, especially unexplained phenomena such as this, is how much of a curveball they are to the plot. And honestly, I'm not complaining. I like this. I like how this moment is so random, yet not far-fetched at the same time. Kinda reminded me when I saw The Boy and the Heron in our local cinema where you're not supposed to rationalize the fantasy that Miyazaki Sensei has made and you just have to ball with it. I feel like the same logic is being used here as well. And for now, I have to admit, this is a good cliffhanger and I'm definitely eager to see how the author will manage this new development and how the characters will approach a pre-Shozo version of Ine. So yeah, until next episode then lads.